Tom. Okay, thank you. Okay. On each landing opposite to the left chair, he is talking about the, the building and in front of the building. What is there on the top of the building? The poster with the enormous face gazed from the wall. The, uh, the, the, the big poster for enormous face, this face is the face of the big brother, right? It was one of those pictures which are so contrived that the eyes follow you about when you move. Big brother is watching you, the caption beneath a trend. So the, this picture is a kind of a slab for what? For the reader. It tells the reader that what is the, 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 the problem here? The problem that we have a kind of a person who is putting himself all right, in a place of the God, right? And people are supposed to uh, worship him, in other words. Uh, he has pictures wherever you go. These pictures and these posters are very big pictures and posters. And, uh, right, it is wherever you look, you will find the eyes, they are following you wherever you move. And under, under the, 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 the poster, there is a caption. The caption says, the big brother is watching you as if, right, he is, okay, a god, okay? It is one of the strategies reflecting the first strategy of controlling people. What is that? It is, okay, monitoring the people all the time, spying on them, right? I see what you are doing. I see what you are doing. So we, this quotation, it gives us a sense that we are going to go through a work in which the big brother, right, which is actually a kind of an irony because, right, big brothers are not supposed to be tyrannical, but this one is calling himself the big brother, although that he knows that he is a tyrant and he is watching his own people in order not to what, in order not to breathe. Well, this is the introduction. We move to the page number four at the bottom of the page. It shows also, right, the, the same strategy, which is watching people, no uh, invasion of privacy, invasion of uh, privacy. In the far distance, a helicopter skipped da skimmed down between the roofs, hovered for an instant like a blue bottle and uh, darted away again with a curving flight. It was the police control. What are they doing? They are looking at the people, snooping into the people's windows, right? As if they are not only watching them through the screens, it is not enough, but also watching them from the top. This, I find that this quotation as if it is a kind of a prophecy, what happens nowadays, right in, in in palestine you see these but we are not having these helicopters or choppers but we have uh, all right these are drones the drones that are hovering all the time above uh, on the top of the roofs in order to watch everything down there right the battle did not did did not matter however only thought police all right matter so the most important power after the big brother comes the thought police. Anything else is not important, but what is actually important is the thought police. Don't be, don't be coach, right? While you have the crime of what? The crime of thinking. Thinking is a crime. Thinking is a crime. This is very, very ironical as well. Then we have another means of monitoring people of watching them. What is that? It is the telescreens. The telescreens, they are two way. I mean that you watch on the telescreen and the telescreen also, right, watches you. It has okay, a camera. It is exactly like the laptop, right? You watch on the laptop and you can, right, be watched through the laptop. 
The telescreen received and it transmitted. So they transmit and they receive simultaneously any sound that Winston made above the level of a very low whisper would be picked up by it. So no matter how silent you try to be, they will always listen to you. This is what we call it surveillance, which is one of the most important techniques for controlling people. And it is the most important technique of controlling the people where nowadays in the modern world, in the Arab world, not only inside your home, but also on your uh, cell phone, also on what on, on your laptop, or uh, and sometimes maybe maybe I'm, I'm expecting soon that they will try to so make surveillance for your own dreams. Moreover, so long as he remained within the field of the vision, as long as you are in the scope of the vision, right? In the scope of uh, in, in the domain of the camera, the camera will pick you up what you are doing, what you are doing, which the mental plaque commanded, right? He could be seen as well as heard. You can hide behind the telescreen. Yeah, but for a while, they will tell you, hey, where are you? What are you doing? Come in front of the telescreen. And therefore, right, this world is uh, actually uh, beyond the imagination. Everything is monitored because it is the most important technique used for what uh, uh, controlling people. What is that invasion of privacy? How? By surveillance, by surveillance. Don't even think to escape it from us because we will always be there watching you. Another presentation will come to page number six. The Ministry of Truth, which is called Mini Truth. Look at this, Ministry of Truth, Mini Truth, right? The Mini Truth, the little truth, but actually it is not a little truth. You will find that the truth is a lie, a true lies, a true lies, right? In a new speak, what is the new speak? Look at this, right? New speak is, uh, okay, invented a new language by someone called Slime. He would like to invent the language, right, in order to make people not to think, not to think, and to make things short. And in order to control the ideas of people, you have to control their own language. This is what they believe. This is the belief of the big brother, right? And in order to control their language, you have to invent a new language. So they invented a new language, and this language is called the new speak, right? And I want you to notice the usage of the language by the writer himself here. As we said, that he used, okay, a kind of, uh, okay, uh, language, which is like the language of the newspaper, or sometimes it is the language of what? The language, the common language, academic language used in making okay, dissertations or in making research papers. Something it's, uh, it's, it's actually uh, uh, easy, but at the same time, it is official, right? You wouldn't find in any uh, uh, novel uh, all over the world using this technique, uh, which is the technique of the academic writing or the newspaper writing, okay, except in 1984. Look at this. The Ministry of Truth, it is called the Minute Truth in the New Speak, according to the new language. The New Speak was the official language of Oceania. Now he is giving what? Observations. As if he is what? He is as, as if he is in a documentary, as if he is a, what? He, he is a, a, in a newspaper, okay? For an account of its structure and etymology. See appendix. Amorakum shuftu riwa'i bigul see appendix. All right? Why? Because he is dealing with the, the text as if it is what? It is uh, actually uh, an article, an article which has appendix right at the, the end of the article. So this is a proof telling us about the type of diction that he is using. What is the diction? The diction of the academic writing or what we call it Okay, the newspapers uh, article, right? 
So what is the new speak? It is giving us notes or between brackets. Speak was the official language of Oceania. Okay, for an account of its structure and etymology, see appendix. Uh, the language is very, very interesting. You cannot find this language in a novel. But here he did not deal with it as a, a novel. He dealt with it as if it is what a research paper. Right, was startlingly different from any other obli uh, object in the site. This is what the, the Ministry of Truth. The Ministry of Tru Truth, what is the function of the Ministry of Truth? The main function of the Ministry of Truth is what is changing history. Changing history, which is the second technique of controlling people. Controlling people. What? If you can control the past, you can control the present. If you can control the present, you will control the, the future. And therefore, he, the big brother, made this ministry of the truth, uh, the main function of the ministry of truth is manipulation of reality. Manipulation of reality. Manipulation of reality means changing it. And it has a big building, very big building. All right, it is the, the, the only different object inside. It was an enormous, okay, it has a pyramidal structure, Kainaharam, of a glittering white concrete soaring up, Al Yafir, terrace after terrace, Tabik, Vog, Tabik, 300 meters into the air. Why? To show you that this is the, 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 the building which controls everything, manipulation of reality. From where Winston stood, and it was just possible to read, picked up on its white face, or right, elegant lettering, the three slogans of the party were on the top of the Ministry of Truth. Ministry of Truth, war is peace, freedom is slavery, ignorance is strength. This is, right, the slogans of what? The slogans of the party, manipulation, of reality, right? There is peace only in war, right? If freedom is a slavery, so you have to be a slave in order to become a free, right? Ignorance is a strength. Well, this is what actually happens in the Arab world. Right, peace for whom? Peace for the big brother by launching war against the people. Freedom for the big brother by making the people slaves. Right, it is, uh, where is the strength of the big brother? By making people ignorant, by making people ignorant. Do you understand what I mean? Yes, sir. Hello, are you there? Yes, it's clear. Good. Okay. So we will move to page number nine. On page number nine, we would like to know what is the conflict about? It is about Winston Smith. What is wrong with Winston Smith? Winston Smith main function is to change history. But at the same time, he is in love with the past. He loves the past. He loves history. So we have a conflict inside this person that he is obliged to change what he right, really loves. And therefore, he wanted to rebel against what he is doing. So this is the problem, going against the mainstream. What is the mainstream? The big brother is the mainstream. The thing that he was about to do about Winston, he's talking about Winston, right, is to open a diary, is to open a diary, writing a diary. Look at this, of course. This was not illegal. I like this. This was not illegal. He could say this was legal. But why? He says, he says here, this was not illegal because of two reasons. The first reason, okay, is that everything is illegal. 
in Oceania. Everything is illegal. This is on one hand. And writing a diary was not in illegal. يعني الأصل هو إيش المنع. Malaki writing a diary was not illegal. This is the first explanation. The second explanation is here, right? Nothing was illegal. Do you know why? Because there were no longer laws. ما كانش في قوانين أصلاً. ما فيش قانون اللي بحدد لك what is legal and what is not legal. القانون الوحيد اللي موجود قانون the Big Brother is the law. Is the law. He is the law. So. Nothing was illegal since there were no longer any laws. But if detected, it was not illegal. But if it was not illegal, it was not It was reasonably certain that it would be that you would be punished by death. But it was not illegal. <laughs> but if detected, it was reasonably certain, من المؤكد, من المؤكد, you will be punished by death, or at least by 25 years in a forced labor camp. 25 سنة مؤبد وين في الأعمال الشاقة. بس. Why? Practicing something which is not illegal. So you are only you are only practicing something which is not illegal, but you will be punished by death. You see, the language here is a crispy language. It is a kind of a nice one that makes you right, laugh sometimes. Why? Because the things which are common to us, he is changing us. He could have said it was all right, legal, yet if you, detect, if you are detected, you will be punished by death. Why? Because this is the law of the big brother. And he, right? Let's go to what? to page number 10. All right, April 4, 1984, right? Leon Gaddish. April, 1984, this is the city, right? If we want to go down, he started writing in his own diary, but he would like to know Right, asking himself because he is afraid and he knows that if he is caught, he's going to be killed. Right? He's asking, Why should I write? Why should I write? To whom should I write? If I am supposed to write something in the diary, to whom should I write? Then he said, For whom? It suddenly occurred to him to wonder, Was he writing this diary for the future? For the unborn, he is questioning, but yet, right? He has not come to a decision to write yet. He is still afraid. He is still questioning the thing, which is a technique of what? Of going away from the action of writing. He would like to write, but he is afraid to write. Should I write for the future, for the unborn, for those who are not born yet? His mind hovered for a moment around the, the doubtful date on the page. He is doubting the time and then fetched up with the bump against the new speak word double think, right? And came into his word, right? The word double think, the double think, which is the character of what? The character of having, believing in two opposites at the same time. Believing that the big brother is good and he is a tyrant. He is the big care, the one who cares about us. I mean, caring about, let's say, that believing that something is white and the black at the same time, at the same time is called the double thing. That if you believe and disbelieve at the same time, it means that what? You have a double thing which is the character of the language of the big brother. Excuse me for a minute. Well, so came to his mind that I want to write and I don't want to write at the same time. So this is a double thing. For the first time, 
the magnitude of what he had undertaken came home to him, right? How could you communicate with the future? He's asking himself, how can you communicate? By writing, it was of its nature impossible to him. Now he is convincing himself that it is impossible to communicate with the future. Why? Because either the future would resemble the present, in which case it would not listen to him, or it would be different from it. And this predicament would be meaningless. So what is this? He is trying to convince himself that not to write. Not to write. This is what brought to his mind the idea of double thing. That I would like to write, but I don't want to write at the same time. Right? So he says, why should I? For the future, that we have two possibilities. Either the future is going to be like the present, if it is the present, right, and in this case they are going, not going to listen to, to what I wrote, or it would be different, and if it is different from the present, okay, they, that what I wrote, wrote already is going to be meaningless. So now he has not taken the decision of writing yet, writing yet, which is part of his own problem. Let's go to page number 11, right? Then he goes into what? Goes into the same dialogue inside his own mind. He says, the actual writing would be easy. All he had to do was to transfer to paper in a uh, right, interminable, restless mo monologue that had been running inside his head. All what he needs is to write with the monologue in his head. It means that there is a monologue in his head which he is the only thing that he had the only thing in 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 the country of you of the of the, of the big brother the only thing that you had is what you have in your mind right what does he have in in his mind the little dialogue that he cannot try it because he is afraid to write literally four years right at this moment however even the monologue has it dried up it dried up why because he is afraid to write. Okay, go down at the same page. On the same page, he started writing. April 4, 1984. This is the writing of Winston Smith. I want you to notice that his writing here, they are not well arranged. Why? Because he is writing and he is afraid. But later we will find his own writings become more what more I mean organized. Last night, he is talking about what, ha what happened last night, which is also reflecting one of the most important what qualities of the people of Oceania or what the party has done to them. What is that? It is desensitization. That people are no longer okay, having okay, feelings normal, uh, of normal people. They are happy, right? I mean, look at this. I, I'm, I'm telling you, you will find some people, for example, right? in Egypt, uh, uh, right? They, they, they felt happy for the death of thousands, okay, in Rabah, for example. If these people feel happy for the death of people, it means that they are desensitized. De by, by whom? By the party. By the party. It means that they are no longer human beings, but they became desensitized. So he writes, last night, the flex all war films, one very good one of a ship full of refugees being bombed somewhere in the Mediterranean. Audience much amused by shots of a great, a huge fat man trying to swim away with a helicopter after him. First, you saw him wallowing along in the water like a porpoise. Then you saw him, though the helicopter gunship, then he was full of holes and the sea around him turned pink and he sank and suddenly as though the holes had left in the water audience shouting with laughter shouting with when he sank right then there you saw lifeboats full of children with a helicopter hovering over it there there was a middle-aged woman might have been a jewish a Jewish sitting 
in the in the in the bow with a little boy about three years old in his arm so what is the point here the point that these people are no longer a human being they are desensitized why because killing of the innocent they are happy for killing the innocent the innocent people right which is also a technique of what of the party and the followers of the party right let's go ahead to read the same thing okay winston stopped striking partly because he was suffering from a cramp which i could he did not know what had made him pour out this stream of rubbish right but right the curious thing was that while he was doing so a totally different memory had clarified itself in his mind to the point where he almost felt equal to writing it down he wanted to write down another idea that came to his mind it was he now realized because of uh, right this incident that he had suddenly decided to come home and be begin the diary today right and therefore right he wanted to decided to uh, write samina jama la la yes yes doctor yes good yes doctor so he came what now he made up his mind in order to what in order to write okay then what happens Winston had disliked her now he sees Julia right Julia for the first time but what happens you will find okay things they seem the opposite of what they uh, actually things are opposite of what they seem okay when he saw Julia for the first time he disliked her when he saw right O'Brien for the first time he liked him then later we discover julia right becomes his uh, right his beloved girl and o'brien is the one who is going to what uh, is going to right to bring him to down winston had disliked her from the very first moment of seeing her he knew the reason right and i know the reason what is the reason that he is mistaken about what he sees right why because nothing looks as it is nothing looks as it is in uh, this i mean environment even when someone says the big brother it is not the big brother okay page number 14 at the bottom winston had seen o'brien perhaps dozen times now we will see the opposite o'brien is supposed to, i mean is 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 a fox perhaps a dozen time and almost as many as years he felt deeply drawn to him unlike whom unlike his attitude to 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 julia right why because right he is not able to distinguish who is with him and who is against him right and not solely because he was uh, intrigued by the contrast between o'brien urban manner and his prize fighter physique much more it was because of secretly held belief because he believed why he is drawn to him because he believed or perhaps not even a belief merely a hope that o'brien political orthodoxy was not perfect and he and no who i am politically speaking aqidatu al-siyasiyya mish mazbuta zayyu zayyu okay but he doesn't know it is the opposite it is the opposite nothing seems as it is something in his face suggested it irresistibly right that because this is the function of o'brien this is the function of o'brien to show the opposite of what he is of what he is okay then and again perhaps it was not even an orthodoxy we won't can kun ma andush mushkila fi aqidatu siyasiya that was written in his face but simply intelligence because there is intelligence in his eyes and we have here double meaning for the word intelligence we have 
and uh, he is right. He is right because intelligence mungkin it kun dhaka or intelligence is, is also what? Mukhabarat. Huwa mukhabarat fi'ala. But simply intelligence. Right? But at any rate, he had the appearance of being a person that you could talk to. If someone, if somehow you could cheat the telescreen and get him alone, right? He is being deceived. He is being deceived by the seeming, by the seeming of people, which is going to bring him right to his, uh, okay, downfall. Go to page number 17. Okay, we will get to know now Okay, to another player, all right? Someone is called Goldstein. What is this Goldstein? He is the enemy of the people. He is the enemy. Goldstein is supposed to be the head of resistance, the head of, but we don't know whether really Goldstein uh, really exists exactly like the existence of the big uh, brother. We hear about Goldstein, but we don't know whether he really exists or he is really made. He is really made. Maybe, right, they made this character in order to be what? It, to be the subject of hatred. To be the subject of hatred. Uh, why? To replace the big brother, right? Because if they are not going to create someone like Goldstein, who is going to be the subject for hatred? The big brother. So they created Goldstein in order to be the subject or the enemy of the people, the subject of hatred, all right, instead of hating the big Abraham. Besides, the sight or even the thought of Goldstein produced fear and anger. Goldstein, whenever you think, right, or when they bring the picture of Goldstein on the telescreens, you become angry automatically. He was an object for hatred. This is exactly what I said that they created this character to be an object for hatred, right? To what? To save the big brother from that hatred. زي ما بيجي تبع المصريين كل حاجة الإخوان المسلمين الإخوان المسلمين الإخوان المسلمين الإخوان المسلمين Okay, what I mean that they would make some some or object for hatred object for hatred more constant than either Eurasia or Eastasia عشان تكرحهم أكثر ما بتكره يوريشيا وأكثر من ما تكره إيستاسيا which are the two countries, the enemy countries, right, on the borders, on the borders of what, okay, of, uh, okay, uh, uh, big brother's country. Since when Oceania was at war with one of the powers, it was generally at peace with the other, right? So war is peace, which is actually, nine, one of the techniques of the America and the techniques of, of Israel, right? In order to avoid or to escape from any conflict, internal conflict, they would make launch war outside. So you will find the internal front becomes all right, at peace when there is war with an, an enemy outside the country, outside the country. Well, so, when they are at war with Eurasia, right, you will find it is at peace with East Asia. But what was strange was, although Goldstein was hated and despised by everybody, although every day and thousand times a day on platforms, on telescreens, in newspaper, in books, his, uh, his theories were refuted, smashed, ridiculed, right? Held up the, the, the general gaze of the pitiful rubbish, okay, that they were, in spite of all this, his influence never seemed to grow less. never seemed to grow less. يعني لازم يخلقوا بعبع. والبعبع هذا نضلنا كل يوم نشتم فيه اوكي لكن تاثير هذا البعبع على الناس اوكي لا يقل بضل هو هو which is actually a, a, a political technique a political technique used by, by all dictatorships dictatorships well we will uh, have uh, another quotation 
on page number 22. Okay, now the relationship between him and O'Brien, which is strong. Momentarily, he caught O'Brien's eyes. And he saw him while he is walking. O'Brien had stood up. He had taken off his spectacles and was in the act of uh, by resettling them on his nose with his characteristic gesture. But there was a fraction of a second when their eyes met. And for as long as it took to happen, Winston knew, yes, he knew. He knew what? That O'Brien was thinking the same thing as himself. He is completely misled. He is completely, why? Because this is the function of O'Brien. And O'Brien is an expert in showing off. Not only him, but we have many O'Briens in this life. We have many O'Briens. Okay? An unmistakable message had passed between both of them. It was as though their two minds had opened and thoughts were floating from one into the other through their eyes. Yeah, I am with you, O'Brien seemed to be saying to him. I know precisely what you are feeling. I know all about your contempt, all right, about your hatred, your disgust. But don't worry, I am on your side. And then the flash of intelligence. Intelligence given Marra was gone. And O'Brien's face was all right, very like everybody else. What is the point here? The point I want to say, all right? that the mistake in uh, right in the character of uh, uh, of Winston Smith right two things the first thing which is his love to the past the second one okay his ignorance his ignorance which is a tragic flow the inability to identify what is good and what is bad well, let's go to next, All right? On page number 23, okay, he continues. His eyes refocused on the page. Now he is writing. He is writing again. He discovered that while he sat helplessly musing, he had also been writing as though by automatic action. Unlike last time when his eyes were, his, uh, 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 I mean, uh, his hand was actually trembling. Now he's writing an automatic action. And it was no longer the same cramped. A awkward handwriting. Okay, as before. His pen had a slide voluptuously over the smooth paper, printing in large, neat capitals. Down with the big brother. Down with the big brother. This a moment of all right, the moment of what? Not going back, not no exit. This is what we call it, the no exit point. No exit point that he already has gone into the path of resistance against the big brother. He cannot take what himself back from what he did, right? We will see that there is a development in his own character. He's no longer afraid. He's not questioning. He's not questioning, right? What is the purpose of his writing? He's writing with capitals, right? And what he's saying, he's saying, okay, something again is the big brother, the big brother. And not one time, but many times. You will find the repetition, which is a technique of uh, the, the, the novel's writing is also important. You will find that uh, the novelist always repeats the, the important ideas which he would like to express, right? Like the, the, the repetition of the slogans of the party or like the repetition that we find here in the writing of Winston Smith, right? Okay, over and over again, filling half a page, he could not help feeling a twing of panic. Okay, it was absurd since the writing of those particular words was was not actually more dangerous than the initial act of opening the diary because writing and opening the diary they have the same consequences right and in other words 
that he has gone into the act of going against the big brother, whether by opening the diary or writing in the diary. But for a moment, he was tempted to tear it out. Spoil pages and abandon the enterprise altogether. He did not do so, however, because he knew that it was useless. So I didn't ولا ما مزعتهم ليش؟ اوكي ما دام كتب الداون وذ ذا بيج براذر معناته باي باي خلاص حيفسحوك. Whether he wrote down with the big brother or whether he refrained from writing it made no difference. Whether he went on with the diary or whether he did not go on with it made no difference. Why? The thought police would get him. لأنه ارتكب الجريمة الأصل. Right? وهي ايش؟ التفكير. اوكي؟ okay? عشان هيك كتبت ما كتبتش كل واحد. The thought policy is going to take you in order to what? To be vaporized. He committed, was, would have still committed, even if he had never set a pen on a paper, the essential crime. The essential. لق, لقد ارتكب الجريمة ايش؟ الجريمة الأم. الجريمة ايه؟ الأولى. Which is what thinking that continued all others in itself. Wallati yatbaha kullu shayin akhar. Thinking. It is thinking. This is the, the essential crime. This is the essential crime. Well, well, what we go at the bottom of the page, the same page. They will show you, shoot me, I don't care. Now, we are moving into another step. What is that in the development of the character of what? Okay, of uh, that, he, which is that he is no longer afraid of the consequences of what he did. He thinks that it is one of the rights of the human, think, uh, human beings to think. They will shoot me, I don't care. They will shoot me in the back of the head, I don't care, right? that uh, down with the big brother they always shoot you in the back of the neck i don't care down with the big brother now we have a rebellion now this rebellion doesn't want to be alone he needs companions he needs companions and the only companion that comes to his head right is o'brien why because he depended on his what we call it first impressions and his first impressions are deceiving are actually deceived go to page number 31 right he's talking about the woman with the children that he wrote about before he talks about one of the strategies which is the worst thing right in the part is teaching when they teach children to spy on their parents. You see, can you imagine that they take these children into their own camps and they fill uh, up their minds with, uh, with rubbish to become what? To become loyal to the party. So they will become spies about their own uh, what parents. And you cannot, this is awful actually. You cannot imagine Right, that you will be reported to the thought police because, all right, by your own child. This is a catastrophe, actually. With those children, he's talking about the woman, all right, with two children that reached, right, whom uh, a woman must lead a life of terror. Another year, two years. And they would be watching her night and day for symptoms of unorthodoxy. Nearly all children nowadays were horrible. Why? What was worst of all was by means of such organization as the spies, they were systematically turned into ungovernable little savages. And yet this produced in them, okay, no tendency whatever to rebel against the discipline of the party. So to them becomes the discipline of the party is the most important and therefore they are willing to what to report their own parents if they commit 
the what the crime of thing. All right. Now he is going, we will go down into right the dreams of this man. One of his dreams about his own family that died long time ago. He sees that dream, right? More than once, but this dream is going to be linked to O'Brien. This is why I am reading this quotation in order to show you that he is influenced by what happened to his family and to his sister, because both of them died in order to give him life, to give him life. So he says, years ago, how long was it? Seven years, it must be. He had a dream that he was walking through a pitch dark room and uh, someone sitting to one side of him had said while he passed, we shall meet in the place where there is no darkness. Taban, this person whom he thinks is O'Brien, is O'Brien. We shall meet in a place where there is no darkness, that we will meet in a bright future. This is how he explained it. But I said nothing in this novel, right, as it seems, as it seems, even language, even language. So the meaning we shall meet in the place where there is no darkness, which is actually promised by O'Brien in the dreams of what? Of Winston is going to be room one and one, or one or one. الغرفة واحد مية واحد. الغرفة مية واحد فيها إضاءة شديدة جدا لأنها غرفة تحقيق. Okay, and this is where they are going to meet. A place there where, all right, where there is no darkness. It was said very quietly, almost casually, right? A statement, not a comment. Who could not now remember whether it was before or after having the dream that he had seen O'Brien for the first time. Nor could he remember when he had first identified the voice as O'Brien's. So he identified the, the voice as O'Brien's voice. But at any rate, he, right, the identification existed. It was O'Brien who had spoken to him out of the dark. Winston had never been able to feel sure. يعني متأكد إذا أنا متأكد وبكرة متأكد عن جد في غرفة مية واحد. Even after this morning flashes in the eyes, it was still impossible to be sure whether O'Brien was a friend or an enemy. You cannot be sure yet, right? Although he, is, uh, I mean, it was the voice of him that we shall meet in a place that has no right darkness, right? Nor did even seem to matter greatly. There was a link of understanding between them more important than a fiction, right? Or a partitionship. And therefore, right, he is going to what? To be the victim of his first impression. Page number 34, repeating what? Everything. Here, this is a quotation to explain what I just said to you. On Oceania, you don't have anything to, to have. You don't have a property. The only thing that you have is what? Nothing was your own except the few cubic centimeters inside your skull. What do we mean by this? The only thing that you have is the little ideas that you have in your brain. The few cubic centimeters inside your skull and you will be held accountable for what goes on in these cubic centimeters inside your skull page number 35 right now he is writing in his diary says of course, you will find his writing now is much better than before. To the future or to the past. To a time when thought is free. When men are different from one another and do not live alone. To a time when truth exists and what is done cannot be undone. From the age, the age of uniformity, from the age of solitude, from the age of the big brother, from the age of double think greetings. 
So we will see what he is, he is aiming at, what is his only dream, right? You know that, okay, the age of the big brother, they are all the same. They are in uniformity. Why? Because they are followers of the big brother, right? Everyone is selected. Why? Because they are not supposed to think. They are not supposed to socialize, right? This is the age of the big brother. Right? It is the age of the double thing when you believe and disbelieve at the same time. When you want to do something and you don't want to do it some right at the same time. Right? So he is writing for the future. Look at this. Okay. To the future or to the past. Right? Is he writing for the past? Because the past they cannot read. Right? They cannot read what he's doing. Now he is writing in into the prison writing to the prison or to the past but he doesn't care he says that i am going because he loves for the sake of the past i am writing for the sake of the future and i am writing for the sake of the past why because he doesn't want to change the past which is history which is this is why he says to the past i am writing for the sake of the cure i mean accuracy of the past to the time when thought is free which means that at this time thought is not free and when men are different from one another which means at this time men are all the same and do not live alone it means that men are lonely to the time when the truth exists which means at this time the truth doesn't exist and when it's done cannot be undone right like what like history but here they undo what is done what do they do they manipulate the past manipulate the history they change the existence of people by changing their own past well look at this statement that he wrote already and one of his ideas but now he's giving us his ideas as sentences short sentences one of his short sentences, thought a crime does not entail death. Thought a crime is death. I like it. I like it. Again. Okay. Thought a crime does not entail death. لا تستوجب الإعدام. thought a crime is death. هي في حد ذاته. عندما تعتبر التفكير جريمة فهذا هو إيش؟ هذا هو الإعدام. When we think, right? Okay, when you think opposite to the regime is death, is actually entailing death. This what happens in Egypt. This what happens in Syria. This what happens in Saudi Arabia. This what happens, right? Wherever. These are three countries. Saudi Arabia, if you think opposite to the big brother, you will die. Page number, chapter three, page number 37. Okay, the dream of his mother. At this moment, his mother was sitting in some place. This is his dream. Deep down beneath him, with his young sister in her arms, he did not remember his sister at all, except as a tiny, feeble baby, always silent with large, watchful eyes. Both of them were looking up at him. They were down in some subterranean place, the bottom of a well. Can there be no way a bottom of a well, for instance, or a very deep grave? But it was a place which already far below him was itself moving downwards. They were in the saloon of a sinking ship, looking up at him through the darkening water. There was still air in the saloon. They could still see him, and then, but all the while, I, they were sinking down into the green waters, which, uh, uh, which in another moment must hide them from sight forever. He was out in the light and earth while they were being sucked down to the death and they were down there because he was up here. He knew it, uh, it and they knew it 
and he could see the knowledge in their faces. There was no reapproach either in their faces or in uh, the hearts only, the knowledge that they must die in order that he might remain alive. And that this was part of his unavoidable order of things. He could not remember what had happened, but he knew in his dream that in some way he lives right of his mother and his sister had been sacrificed to his own. Leno, the lives of his mother and his sister had been sacrificed. So, right, that they left him alive because they killed his mother and his sister. Right. Okay, he repeats the same thing, right, about the, right, in this page about the, 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 the dream, right, again and again. But, uh, uh, he links it to whom? He links it to, to O'Brien, which is actually, right, I don't know how does he think. Yani, I don't know what is the relationship between both of them. Well, go to page number 44. The things that he understands to be wrong. The party said that Oceania had never been an alliance with Eurasia. He, Winston Smith, knew that Oceania had been an alliance with Eurasia as short time as four years ago. Right? The truth is why what I say it is. This is what the big brother says. Again, the truth is what I say it is. حتى مع انك انت عارف انهم كانوا متحدين مع بعض اربع قبل اربع سنين لكن اللي بقول لما يجي يقول البيج براذر عمرنا ما اتحدنا معاهم معناته ما اتحدناش معاهم. But where did that knowledge exist? سؤال so where do we have knowledge? Only in his own consciousness, which in any case must soon be annihilated. So this is the that annihilating the consciousness of the thinking people. This is what, this is, right, the, the, the function of the tyranny. And if all others accepted the lie, لو كلهم صدقوا الكذبة, لاحظوا, لاحظوا إيش بتشوفوا على العربية, وإيش بتشوفوا على تماعات مش عارف إيش. يعني بضلهم يكذبوا, 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 right? والناس بتصدق الكذبة, وبرغم من بعد ذلك, بكونوا عارفين إنه هي كذبة, أوكي, وبصدقوها على إنها كذبة. And if all others accepted the lie, which the party imposed, if all records told the same tale, then the lie passes into history and became a truth. Then the lies passed into history and become the truth. Who controls the past ran the party slogan. Okay, he who controls the past controls the future. If I control the past, I will control the future. What is the relationship between the past and the future? Who controls the present controls the past. So I have to control the present in order to change the past and to control it. If I control the past, I will be able to control the future. Come on, Marwa. Who controls the past controls the future. Who controls the present controls the past. So tyrants, what do they usually do? They control the present. Then in order to control the past, by the time they control the past, they will control the future, right? Do you understand what I mean? يعني أنا بكذب اللي أنا ل ل ل ل عن اللي عايزه عن في ال في الماضي. ب بطلع ال ب بعمل من الرجال أقزام عن بعج بعمل من الأقزام رجاله وبعمل بغير وطبعا آلة إعلامية ضخمة تخلي ال الواحد في حيرة كلها كذب. Right. And yet, the past, though of its nature, alterable, الماضي بطبيعته يمكن أن يحول, never had been altered. لم يتم تحويله حتى لا. 
whatever was it true right now was it true from everlasting and to everlasting when they can صح من زمان صح الجيت وراح يضل صح بعدين it is quite simple all that was needed was uh, what okay an ending series of victories over young own memory in order to believe that the past was wrong بيجي بيقولوا لك بيشككوا في الصحابه بيشككوا في في الاحاديث بيشككوا في في الروايات اللي مش عارف ايش عشان ايش all what you need is a series of victories over your memory right عشان تصدق اللي اللي كنت تعتقد انه صح بدك تنتصر على ذاكرتك وتقول انه كان غلط reality control reality control this is what they call it what is reality control right that you need to control your own memory in order to change reality they called it in the new speak of the double think what is reality control again i whatever was it true was true from the everlasting to everlasting it was quite simple all that was needed was an ending series of victories over your own memory انت شخصيا لازم تتغلب على ذاكرك انت تقول عن حالك انا كنت اهبل هذاك مش صح عمره ما كان صح عمرهم الصحابه كانوا كويسين عمرهم ما عملوا انتصارات هم اللي غزوا العالم وهم اللي فتحوا الاسلام بالسيف رياليتي كنترول رياليتي كنترول اكذب وبعدين صدق يكذبوا عليك وانت بتصدق الكذبه لازم محتاج يعني شويه مصارعه مع الميموري تبعتك وتنتصر عليها اند يو ويل هاف وات وي كول ات رياليتي كنترول رايت This is what they call it in the new speak of the double thing, right? Stand easy, right? So, okay, go to what again? To know and not, to, right? To know and not to know, to be conscious of complete truthfulness while telling careful, constructed lies, to hold simultaneous two opinions which cancelled out. knowing them to be contradictory and believing in both of them to use logic against logic to repudiate morality while laying claiming to them to believe in the democracy was impossible and the party was the guardian of democracy to forget every whatever it was necessary to forget then to draw it back into memory again okay at the moment when it was needed and then promptly to forget it again all above to apply the same process to the process itself that was the ultimate subtlety consciously to be induced unconsciousness and then once again to become unconscious of the act of hypnosis you had just performed even to understand the word double thing right so what is double thing اعيد لكم اياها لانها بدها تفكير يعني كمان مرة أعيد لكم إياه What is the meaning of double think? To know and not to know أول حاجة To be conscious of complete truthfulness while telling careful constructed lies تكون عارف إيش الحقيقة أوكي وتك وتكذب كذب مصفط To hold simultaneously two opinions which cancelled out انك تعتقد بايش؟ برايين مختلفين تماما. Knowing them to be contradictory وانت عارف انهم ايش؟ متناقضين. And believing in both of them وبتامن في اثنين. To use logic against logic تستخدم المنطق اوكي ضد المنطق. To repudiate morality انك انت تعمل ايش؟ يعني تعمل فيها دي دي تنشر يعني تنشر الفضيله وان لاين كليم تو ات وانت كمان في نفس الوقت انت غير فاضل انت حرامي تو بليف ذات ديموكراسي واز امبوسيبل تؤمن بانك انت ايه بانه الديمقراطيه مستحيله وانه الحزب هو راعي الديمقراطيه هذا زي مصر والله تماما زي مصر اوكي يعني بيجي بقول لك الديمقراطيه يعني مش لنا للامم الامم مختلفه هذا كلام وبعدين بيجي بيقول لك اوكي يعني الرئيس هو راعي الديمقراطيه تو فورجيت وات ايفر ات از نيسيساري تو فورجيت تنسى ما هو ضروري انه ينسى ذن تو درو ات باك فروم ميموري وبعدين تتذكره اجين رايت اوكي ات اوكي ذا مومنت وين ات واز نيدد لما تحتاجه هذا اسمه دبل ثينك 
and promptly forget it again وبعديها تنسى كمان مرة and above all to apply the same process إنك تطبق نفس هذه العملية على العملية نفسها to apply the same process to this, the process itself that was the ultimate subtlety ويعني هاي, هاي الروعة consciously to induce unconsciousness أن تمسح الوعي أوكي بطريقة واعية تماما إنك إيش تمسح الوعي بطريقة واعية تماما بطريقة مخططة and then once again to become unconscious وبعدها كمان إيش become unconscious of the act of hypnosis أوكي عن طريق التنويم المغناطيسي that you had اللي مريت فيه or just performed أو اللي عملوا عليه even to understand the word double think involves the use of double think عشان تفهم كلمة double think لازم يكون في عندك double think so this is the function of the double think this is the function of the double think to believe in two contradictory opinions at the same time I like this to repudiate morality while lying a claim to it يعني انك انت تنشر الفضيله او تتكلم عن الفضيله وانت حرامي. يعني برز برز الثعلب يوما في ثياب ايه؟ اوكي؟ يوما في ثياب الواعظين. I like this one also to believe that democracy was impossible and that the party was the guardian of democracy. Well, I'm going to stop here and we continue next time, inshallah. Right, I know we reached the page 45. We'll be able to do it again. I hope you will be able to understand me. You will be able to understand me. Okay, I'll take the presence and the absence. Of course, the absence and the absence is 57. I mean, for those who are here. And I hope they will be able to understand. They will not be able to sit or sit or do anything. Okay? حاضرين يا دكتور ان شاء الله ان شاء الله يلا يعطيكم الف عافيه او بيعملوا كعك زي ما بتقول بتول يلا سلام عليكم يعطيك العافيه يا دكتور وعليكم السلام دكتور دكتور يعطيك العافيه الله يعافيك الله يرضى عليك إيه دكتور انا انا داخله باسم بنتي معلش من حسابي مش راضي يفوت مش مشكله مش مشكله ان شاء الله ماشي دكتور واعمل لنا كعك يا دكتور طيب يلا ان شاء الله عقبال عنا يلا ان شاء الله يا دكتور السلام عليكم <تصفيق>